This woman is a Chinese YouTuber Lizzie T, who is loved for her concept of filming real life in China and has about 60 million subscribers. But her suddenly disappearance is drawing a lot of attention. She lost her father when she was young and grew up with her mother alone. At the age of 14, her house was so poor that she quit school and earning living expenses by working at the bar in Chengdu. And when her mother got older, she went back to the country village to take care of her. Then, as a concept video creator depicting everyday life in rural China, she suddenly began to receive a lot of love in YouTube. In 2017, she posted her first video titled "Making a Dress with Grape Skins" on YouTube and reached 1 million subscribers in less than three months. And she has surpassed 10 million subscribers in April 2020. And 50 million subscribers in April 2021, recording the largest number of subscribers as a Chinese YouTuber. Most videos have 10 or 20 million views, and there are many videos over 30 million views. So netizens call her as a mysterious power from the Asia. Nevertheless, as you know, YouTube is not loaded in China, so she is a person who was supported by the Chinese government. Her video contents are very beautiful. However, in fact, the romantic appearance of real life shown in all her videos is only possible in imagination and is only a created image. Of course, her video contents had nothing to do with the politics, so it may be contributing for Chinese authorities to promote the good image of China to the world. But one day, she suddenly disappeared without any notice after her video on July 14th. And on August 29th, she left a mysterious message on Weibo, but deleted immediately. I reported it to the police early in the morning. Capital is a really good tool. And without any explanations about the details, now more and more speculations are rising. There are rumors that she may have fallen into a dispute over the capital, or that she may not able to upload videos due to the sudden censorship from Chinese authorities. In fact, the real rural life in China is far from the beauty scenes which she described in her video. Because still now in China, there are tons of places where people live primitive lives and are extremely poor, and most of the people who are watching her videos are foreigners. Foreigners who do not know the actual situation in China, and they think that rural life in China is very beautiful, like in her videos shown. China's state-run media CCTV also said, "Foreigners are falling in love with China's charm while watching her videos. Even if she doesn't say she likes China, she praises China's culture and story well to foreign countries, and said everyone should emulate her." Also, on last January, she introduced the kimchi, a traditional Korean food, as a traditional Chinese food, and this is what the Chinese government has been trying to do for a long time now. Just as pandas were used as images that hide China's insidiousness, she was a very effective propaganda tool for the Chinese government. However, the situation in China has changed significantly recently, and it is speculated that she may have been pressured by the Chinese authorities. In fact, many young people in China are giving up working, and lots of them are not willing to get married. And under these circumstances, if she continues to romanticize rural life, it could be a burden on Chinese tourism, because she has also 60 million subscribers in the Chinese video platform, and it could affect the young Chinese people and make them decide to live in rural area. But on August 26, her editor explained why she didn't upload videos for a while. She has been working so hard to make the videos, and she realized that it was far from reality. So she is reorganizing her current life. She dropped out of school when she was young, so she is studying many things now. Actually, she is only a creative person. Her video, which shows excellent video and editing skills, has not been done by herself. She was a person who signed an agreement with a production company called Hangzhou Weianian. And the company's shares are complicatedly distributed. The registered capital was about six million yuan, and its stake is divided into 22 famous invest companies, including Weibo Venture Capital, 
fine capital and bright returns. Among them, the most notable companies were We Venture Capital and ByteDance. Dance. We Venture Capital is the second largest shareholder of Sina Weibo, and ByteDance Dance is a parent company of Seiko Video Platform and TikTok. These prominent companies have created a woman named Litchi and put her as an image before the lenses. However, the current situation in China is changing, which seems to have caused the real person behind Litchi to be abandoned after being used by China's huge capital industry and the Chinese government. And now she couldn't even use her Weibo account anymore. After her last post on July 14, there was no post on her Weibo account until now. Another possibility may be a part of China's recent massive crackdown on cultural poach. China's National Tax Service has issued a notice to strengthen tax management for culture and entertainment workers. Of course, this includes existing celebrities, but also internal broadcasting hosts such as Liberty. Authorities ask the people to pay taxes voluntarily before conducting an investigation of them. Liberty, who played the biggest role as the Chinese propaganda image on YouTube, disappeared with the words that Capital is really a good tool. What do you think of this video? Thanks for watching. Be safe.